When AEW debuted on television in 2019, it provided fans with a rival company to watch that wasn't run by Vince McMahon. Over the next few years, AEW managed to create some incredible matches and moments, and they have truly created stellar competition to the WWE. Although there's been a lot to celebrate in relation to the creation of AEW, there's also been some huge botches that certainly reflect the inexperience of the AEW production team and unfortunately some of their roster. But which times were they? Well, join us now as WrestleMania looks at 10 of the funniest AEW botches of all time. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Number 10. Jade Cargill Forgets to Kick Out now, Jade Cargill has been one of the homegrown stars that has achieved great success since the inception of AEW. Although Jade has been presented incredibly well since her television debut in 2021, it's clear that she still needs time to develop in the ring. This was clear when Jade faced off against The Bunny on 23rd February 2022's edition of Dynamite. During the match, the bunny went for a running elbow smash, and once it connected, she went for the cover. Rather awkwardly, Jade forgot to kick out. This led to AEW referee Aubrey Edwards almost making the three count. It was a terrible botch, and the AEW commentary team struggled to cover it up. Legendary commentator Jim Ross would declare that Jade had a brain fart, which certainly brought humor to the unfortunate mishap. Number 9. Matt Hardy's Elbow Drop AEW have enjoyed using ex-WWE talent for major storylines and one of these WWE ex-talents has been Matt Hardy. Although Matt's contribution to the world of pro wrestling can't be denied, his lumberjack match against Orange Cassidy in late 2021 is certainly one of his most infamous moments. During the match, Matt went for an elbow drop on Cassidy, but he missed the elbow by quite a substantial distance. According to Matt, this was a planned spot, but it looked truly awful upon execution and made little to no sense. Matt got extremely defensive when fans started coiling out the botch, as well as Matt's lame rationale as to why it took place. It wasn't a good look for one half of the Hardy Boys. Number 8. Mike Tyson Can't Rip His Shirt Off one of the most forgettable feuds since AEW's debut has been the feud between Chris Jericho and Mike Tyson. Now, the aim of using Tyson was to get a few extra eyes on AEW's product, but nothing really materialized from Tyson's appearance, nor did it lead to any new fans watching AEW's product. But one of the issues with Tyson's involvement was that he is aged rather substantially, and he didn't look as intimidating as the former boxing legend once did. Hey, that doesn't mean that I want to get in the ring with him though. But one of his most infamous segments took place in May of 2020 on Dynamite, and during this segment, Jericho was trying to rile Tyson, and Tyson proceeded to rip his shirt off. Or at least he tried to. Hilariously, Tyson couldn't rip off his shirt, and it was super awkward as Jericho and the rest of his inner circle stable just watched on. In the end, Tyson gave up on the attempt to remove his shirt and began to pose in a rather comedic manner. Number 7. The Worst Punches in Pro Wrestling History On the 12th episode of AEW Dynamite, the main event featured SCU taking on the Young Bucks, and once the match was over, the Dark Order took to the ring to ambush all four men. During the early days of the stable, AEW filled the stable with random jobbers wearing masks as they hadn't yet worked out who they wanted in the stable. These extra members would be known as Creepers. During this beatdown, the camera cut to one of the Creepers delivering one of the worst punches in pro wrestling history. None of the punches were making contact and it exposed the wrestling business at the highest level. The botch received major criticism from fans as it just showed how far behind AEW was in comparison to WWE. Number 6. Arn Anderson Falls Off The Stage now, Arn Anderson found a new lease of life in AEW as a manager for Cody Rhodes. It was great to see Anderson receive some major spotlight and putting him alongside Rhodes was a great role for the wrestling legend. One of Anderson's more humorous moments took place in late 2021 on Dynamite. As Cody was making his entrance, Anderson fell off the stage. Although this could have been serious, Anderson was completely fine. But the humorous part of it was that Cody was set to take part in a brawl with Andrade on the ramp, and when Anderson fell, Andrade's manager had to check if Anderson was okay and help him up. Number 5. The Super Elite Powerbomb A botches can happen at any time in pro wrestling, even to those wrestlers that fans may consider as masters of their craft. On the second anniversary of the show for AEW Dynamite, the Super Elite teamed up to face Brian Danielson, Christian Cage, and the Jurassic Express. One of the most notable spots in the match saw the Super Elite attempt to perform a super powerbomb on Luchasaurus, but it was a complete failure. As Kenny Omega attempted to lift Luchasaurus up, he stumbled and it ended up looking like a sit-down powerbomb. 
There was then a mixture of laughter and boos from the live crowd who were clearly trying to understand how a simple and seemingly safe spot of their nature could go horribly wrong. Number 4. Luchasaurus Forgets His Spot A Luchasaurus has attained somewhat of a reputation for having some rather unique botches. The worst of these was without a doubt when he wrestled Cesar Bononi on a dark episode in 2021. Cesar would run at Luchasaurus and both would awkwardly stop. It then looked like Luchasaurus was going for a choke slam, while Cesar backed away. Taz on commentary called the botch by stating, Oh Nelly Nelly, which was rather amusing. Luchasaurus then began to call the match on the fly by audibly telling Cesar what to do, and if this wasn't obvious enough, he even pointed at which rope he wanted him to run at. It was amateur hour for everyone involved, and it was shocking that AEW actually left it in and allowed the botch to be seen by all of their fans. Number 3. Matt Seidel Slips Now the all-out pay-per-view in 2020 featured the AEW debut of Matt Seidel, but sadly his debut is known for one of the most infamous botches in AEW history. When Seidel went for his trademark shooting star press, he slipped and performed a basic pack bump. Seidel, as well as the rest of the AEW locker room, would make light of the situation and it was even played off as a comedic botch rather than a serious one on the Being the Elite show. Here it was justified by saying that the ropes were greasy, which is why Seidel had the rare yet unfortunate mishap. Number 2. Jim Ross Forgets What Company He Works For a Jim Ross is well established as being one of, if not the greatest wrestling announcer of all time. But even JR has his off days. JR has made a number of botched calls since taking on the role of AEW commentator and most of these have involved accidentally name dropping his former company, WWE. Alex Marvez may have been there as well for the WWE Champion Kenny Omega. The worst of these took place in the summer of 2021, as JR was promoting tickets for going on sale for an AEW event, and he would claim that there's nothing in your life that will top sing a live WWE Dynamite. Nothing in your life that will top sing a live WWE Dynamite. He would take to Twitter to apologize, and thankfully most fans as well as AEW talent saw the funny side of JR's audible botch. And number 1. The Explosion Now the main event of Revolution pay-per-view in 2021 saw Kenny Omega and John Moxley square off in an exploding barbed wire death match. The rules of the match were that the sides of the ring were covered in barbed wire and would explode upon impact. Additionally, after 30 minutes, the entire ring would explode. After Kenny Omega's victory, he along with the Good Brothers would handcuff Moxley in the ring, meaning he wouldn't be able to escape when the ring exploded. Eddie Kingston would then run down to the ring to protect Moxley from any harm. The so-called explosion went off and hardly anything happened. Some lousy fireworks went off and Kingston had to hilariously sell this explosion as if it was lethal. It was a terrible botch from AEW's production team. After the show went off the air, Moxley responded to the live crowd's disappointment by stating, Kenny Omega may be a tough son of a bitch, but he can't make an exploding ring worth a shit. But there you have it folks, 10 of the funniest AEW botches of all time. Be sure to leave your comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.